गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल आई स्मृति भारद्वाज सीनियर एडिटर एट फार्मा शॉर्ट वेलकम्स यू ऑल टू द प्री कॉन्फ्रेंस इंटरव्यूज फॉर आई एस पी ई सिंगापुर टूडे वी हैव विद अस बेंजमिन सौर ए पी एस सी लीन अकेडमी लीड एस्ट्राजेनिका ऑस्ट्रेलिया टू शेयर सम इन साइट फ्रॉम द अपकमिंग कॉन्फ्रेंस सो बेन हाउ आर यू डूइंग to begin with could you please tell our audience a little bit about yourself yeah sure um yeah as you mentioned i i work for astrazeneca um i'm the lean academy lead at um astrazeneca for the asia pac region um so what we really do there is we sort of do experiential and immersive learning um across the region there's there's actually four academies um in astrazeneca who do the same same sort of work and we run programs such as lean leadership um human and organizational performance uh tpm academy um different sort of strategic programs strategy deployment digital transformation sort of things um really it's we're a learning function um but you know still very connected with the business and a lot of it really comes around leadership change leadership um and includes things such as critical thinking uh which is the topic that I'm presenting um at the conference so that's what I what I do now but I've been in the pharmaceutical industry for about 20 years. I I started in R&D. My background is um I've got a PhD in organic chemistry. I came from a drug discovery background. Um I worked in in research for my first few years in in industry. Um transitioned over into to manufacturing and that's where I really I guess hit hit my um uh, my straps or where I really enjoyed working. I worked in technical roles to start with given my background. uh my process engineering validation project management uh moved into operations management roles um and um now I find myself in as a leadership coach um which is definitely interesting for me but it's something that I really enjoy doing um I've always enjoyed learning and um and now I get to share um my learnings which is great well that's quite impressive to hear So moving ahead so considering your experience what are some of the key topics or themes that you will be covering in the upcoming conference Yeah well the sessions on critical thinking um specifically and I think I call it the what the why the how and so I wanted to really talk about what critical thinking is it's um you know some people think it's very simple some people think it's hard um so I sort of explain the type of thinking um that goes behind critical thinking uh sort of break it down and sort of help people understand the the how that works um and then sort of talking about what sort of things that we can do um to bring it into ourselves as a person because um even in our everyday life we need to use critical thinking um and how can we sort of bring that to life a little bit more but more importantly then is how do we bring that into our organizations um you know it's 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 great when you've got individuals who are very strong critical thinkers but really what's important at this day and age is is that your organization is critical thinking and it's key for that to go with you know we've got new technology coming very fast and we need to adapt very quickly and that's where critical thinking is important right so it's it's one of those core um functions core um skills that I think everyone in your organization needs um currently so I talk about that a little bit and then I give a very simple example um uh on how to do that like there's many examples and systems and tools that we can use to do that uh but I give a very simple example so people can take something back to their organizations and and have a little bit of a play around um uh, with it straight away excellent that was a nice example so i'm sure that the attendees will find your experience invaluable yeah i so, hope so yeah sure moving ahead so could you uh, highlight some of the key challenges or trends that you have observed in critical thinking um now i think the 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 easiest one to come uh, that comes to mind is problem solving uh critical thinking is a solution to problem solving or to problems that we have in our organizations we have problems all the time right um and it's very easy for us to use that quick automatic sort of thinking to move into into problem solving um So I try, I try to bring that to life as well through the presentation and really it, it, it's one of those things that I like to talk about is is not problem solving but problem learning and it's really not even problem learning they're just all opportunities for us to learn more about our product our process our people our teams 
um, and then have that create that learning organization that, that if you have that, you know, or those organizations that are continually learning, um, then it's not a problem, right? These are all opportunities. But problem problem solving is is one of the key areas where it flips straight into um, solution mode and we try to fix things straight away. And whether you're the person who's at the coal face who's who's gone straight into solution mode, or you're the leader, the manager who goes and sees that and moves into that helper mode rather than a leader as a coach. Um, you know, so that's a valuable thing. If you can have a, a leader as a coach and not, um, I guess, micromanaging that person on the cold face, and this is how I would fix it. You know, you get that engagement if you can really, you know, then slip into that coaching mode, right? Um, so problem solving is one area, but I think even is is criti as critical as where we execute our strategy, right? So many really important decisions in our industry are made um, with with binary um, in binary decisions. Should we do this solution or should we not? When really sometimes you need to, and this is where critical thinking is great. You know, what lens am I using? Do I need to zoom out or do do I need to zoom in? And if I've zoomed in, do I need to take a second to zoom back and go, hang on, hang on a minute, I need to have a look at the horizon, what, what really is important to me right now? Because, you know, the, the key to executing good strategy is not doing everything all of the time, is doing the, the thing that you need to work on now. But then also, um, you know, again, switching into that critical thinking mode is, is what are the solutions? What are the ways of doing things? Do I, should I be doing the same thing I've been doing all of the time or is there something new that I'm not seeing, all right? And, and that connects back into why it's so important for our organisations because one person critical thinking, you need the whole organisation critical thinking. Um, and that way, you know, you just can move forward in leaps and bounds. Those step changes. That sounds fantastic. So if we consider the diverse audience that is attending the conference, uh, what do you think what can participant expect to take away from the conference or from a session? I think some very practical um, tools that they can use for themselves. You know, even just pausing for a minute is, in, is is critical thinking. Pausing for a minute saying, am I doing the right thing? Are there other ways to do things? And I, I sort of would bring some very simple, you know, tools like that to life that people can use for themselves or people can use for their teams as well. Um, thinking about, um, you know, how do I build it in an organisation? I sort of talk about a very simple model um, for people to work on there. Um, because it's like a it's, a, it's really a habit that you need to form critical thinking. It's not, you know, we're all smart. We've got great brains. We're, we're lucky to be, um, you know, to, to have that sort of um, complexity in our, in our thought. But, um, you know, you really need to, you know, practice these habits to really build it into our ways of working. Because, you know, there's an Einstein quote that says, um, you know, you can't use the same type of thinking to solve the problems that created them. Right. So it's I think that's really the key to it is is what we can do as a person and what we can do as a team. Um, so hopefully there are some things that they can take away. Plus, I think the the simple example that I drop at the end um, that they can take back and, and, and use and practice again, because unless they practice it, it's not going to become part of their um, their toolkit. And you really want critical thinking to be, um, you know, in your toolkit. Wonderful. So lastly, I want to ask you that uh, what are you personally looking at the conference, like your personal views for the conference and what are you thinking you can take the most out of it? Um, look, I, I've always enjoyed the, the Singapore conference. Um, unfortunately, this year I, I'm actually going to be presenting virtually. Um, so I think that'll be um, something um, of interest to me. I, I do a lot of virtual presentations in my, my current job, um, so it's not new. Um, but doing it to the Singapore conference is, so I think that'll be exciting and reconnecting with some colleagues and friends um, who I haven't connected to um, probably since pre-COVID. Um, so I think that would be great. Looking forward to that. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Benjamin, for joining us today. And we hope that you have a wonderful session at the conference. Best of luck for that. Perfect. Thank you very much for the invitation today. And um, I look forward to seeing you there too. Yeah, sure. Thank you for joining. Thank you.